pretty grim. I did chop off that guy's legs. Is that it? Normally these camps have something decent in them. Oh, is that grindstone or something? Oh no, it's some loot. There we go, look. We got a ruby out of that. Got some relic bolts and a master crossbow. That's not too bad. Not too shabby. Let's have a quick look there. I said I'd equip that crossbow, didn't I? I never did. I can't actually use that crossbow because it's required a level 21. This one's better though. So Have we got better bolts than this? No, not really. Alright. Uh, a chocolate cake with two layers. In between the layers was raspberry, strawberry frosting and chocolate chips around the cake. It's covered with strawberry frosting on top. Chocolate chips. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I wish I could be bothered to make more cakes, to be honest. I can make a pretty mean cake. Bandit camp. Let's do that. It just, it does take a lot of effort. I mean, a lot of things I do take effort. It just seems like making cakes is more effort than a lot of things. Not sure how that works. Get a horse. Come here, Roach. Like one of my one of my favourites is Black Forest Gatto. You ever had that Twitch? Hitbox and YouTube as well. If you're out there, I love Black Forest Gatto. It's like it's it's so 80s. It's totally fallen out of fashion, but it's just really nice. Like dark chocolate and cherry. Do you fancy a crossbow in the face, mate? I'll give you one of those. You ready? LOL I missed He's moved! Ow! Alright, screw this I've got big arrows sticking at me now Uh, Geralt, you might want to use a sword for this dude, I'm just saying It's weird because like normally Geralt will get his sword out, but like sometimes he won't. I need to I need to stun this guy. And then kill him. That's not very nice. Scurvy mutant. I'll show you scurvy mutant. I think actually I, I do have pretty good gear for my level as well. So I'm doing fairly well in combat by doing not much. Right, where's your loot? That's just herbs. Let's get some herbs anyway. Everyone likes herbs, right? Oh look, there's a thing. There's two honeycombs over here. It's very easy, says Teresa. Well, you can come and make me a cake then. Fine. They always taste better though. You know, when you make them yourself, versus when you buy them in a the shop. Diagram harpy. What's a what's a harp? I know a harpy's like a monster, but it's a diagram. Superior devil's puff ball. That's not really that good. Fine, whatever. Can I just fall off here? Is this gonna hurt? Hurt a little bit. It probably wasn't wise. All right, so that's the that's the bandit camp. Let's progress the story a little bit then. Let's make our way to Crow's Perch. Winds howling. I don't know why he says. Who's he talking to at that point? He's talking to himself. Hey This game is, I, I keep saying this, this game is just absolutely magnificent, visually. 
You have to let me know like what you think of the story, like because I, I really rate it. I really think it's um, one of the be better storylines, a better way of telling stories as well than a lot of RPGs you'll come across. Like I said, I'm not convinced on the combat, or the looting system, or the archery, or a lot of, a lot of the more mechanical game elements, but the the less visceral stuff that the divide between good and bad and your moral choices and the way the story is presented and the sheer number of options you've got I don't think there's a lot of games that can beat this and then visually obviously I mean this is on ultra I've only got a 970 now, you piece of filth? this is on the highest graphical quality and I'm streaming and I'm still getting 45 to 50 frames a second here. Oh god, another one. Lol. You weren't expecting that, were you? Mr. Wolf. I always feel bad because I've got a dog, so like killing dog-like creatures always feels bad to me. They, hey, they attack me first. I'm not going to get all their skins on that. I can hear another one. Use my witcher senses to find it. Is that this over here? Oh, I didn't even get to kill it, it died first. Fair enough. Extension set in masteries, ah. Oh. It's the thing though, isn't it? Like It's it's annoying to me because when you're when you're at school, like, all you want to do is the stuff you're good at because you're good at it, and that kind of makes sense, but if you're going to put any extra time Slow in at all, it makes sense to put the time into stuff you're not good at, and then you move up a set, and your life gets better, in a very small way probably, but, you know, like, I only focus on the stuff I was good at, and I never, never got better at anything that I wasn't good at, so I've got quite a limited range of skills now, as a result, in real life. Like, nobody's naturally bad at maths. I refuse to believe that. I think it's just practice. So I had a girlfriend once, right? Once. No, no more than once, but, you know. I, at one time I had one, and um, she always kept saying, like, I'm really bad at maths, I'm really bad at maths, whatever. Okay, so it's just because she didn't do it very often. She thought she was terrible at it, so she never, she never tried. So just little stuff like um, when I'm going to buy food, I just I just absentmindedly add up it add it up in my head, you know. Like I'm not talking about precise stuff here. This is Crow's Perch, home of the uh, Bromley Baron. So so I mean, what I do is it is if something's one pound ten, I'll just be like, well, that's a, that's a pound, you know. If it's one pound ninety five, I'll be like, well, it's two pounds, and I, I just keep a total in my head. And then when I when I go to pay for it, I know roughly what I'm spending. Not so fast, Roach. I guess it's just like using. See, if you if you don't use it, you lose it. There's some truth in that. Tell the Baron what you've learned about Anna. I certainly will. Maybe I should send him around to the creek. Actually, while we're here, what the hell's that guy singing? There's some. Um, I'm not bothering you. Shut up. Oops. Uh oh. I probably shouldn't do that very much. Sorry, I just wanted. To I did scare her. Mission accomplished. She shouldn't be. Shouldn't be telling me I'm bothering her then, should she? Yeah, the guards will attack me if I'm uh, if I'm too much of a dick. Get out of my sight. Oh, so charming. So this is the other thing. Like um, a lot of role-playing games, you'll come across, um, you know, storylines where. Muffy Muffington, didn't you follow me already? Thank you for the follow. Anyway, why is that not in the centre? 
Let's move that to the center. There we go. I'll be in the center for next time. Thanks for the follow. Um, I thought you were following me. Really weird. Anyway, so a lot of role-playing games, you end up being the hero, and everybody loves you. And you go into a town, and everyone's like, "Oh, it's the hero!" You know, the, the hero of Kavach, etc. Um, in this, everyone hates you. Everyone's scared of you. You know, it's a totally different experience, and it's strange, and it annoys me a lot. But that's that's the purpose of it. You know, it's supposed to do that. All right, Baron. I'm going to find out what you think about your wife being kidnapped by the... Excuse me, kidnapped by the crones. I'm listening. What do you come to me with? That's what I mean by the Bromley Baron now. Got news of your wife. Plowing hell, why'd you not say so forthwith? Where is she? Why have you not returned with her? She's in Crookback Bog. Got food, a place to live, and keeps herself busy. Didn't look like she had the slightest desire to leave. You were to bring her back, not report on the condition she lives under. I was supposed to find her, and I did. That was our deal, nothing more. He's right. You still think me rotten to the core. A base bastard, don't you? Yep, I do. You believe I alone am at fault for what happened here? Yes. Actually, that's exactly what I think. Good for you, Girl. Well, it might seem black and white to you witches, but for us common folk, it's shades of grey. As is my family's story. I am interested, actually. Probably Tell me. I'm gonna say you're not the only one to blame. All right, then. I'm willing to hear your side of the story. With Annie, it was love at first sight. A spear tore through my shoulder of the Battle of Anchor. She tended to my wound. Once I'd recovered, I asked her to marry me. She wept with joy. Soon after, Tamara was born. And after that, they sent me to Sidaris. A warlord had risen against King Athen, and Faltest sent help. It was one battle to the next, one conflict after another. It was a life of war. I was seldom home, and I found comfort in drink. Grew so fond of hooch, I couldn't part with it when I did get home. All right. What then? I went from front to front, battle to battle, collecting soldiers' coin while Anna sat alone with the babe for months. Later, I learned she'd not been so alone after all. For nearly three years, she'd found comfort in the arms of one Evan, a childhood friend, a dog's bunghole. Dog's bunghole. Stand, nice. Damn it. One tussle in the hay I'd have weighed to side, put it out of my mind. But the woman cuckolded me for years. Without a whisker of concern for me, for my love. This is where the story gets interesting. How do you find out? Came home one day and Anna was gone. The things too. Found a letter. She wrote that she didn't love me. That she'd left me for that knob licker and taken Tamara with her. Felt like I'd been rammed in the ass by a horse. He doesn't hold back, does he? I went to find the bugger to get the girls back, bring them home. Yet soon as I saw him, something turned inside me, something dark. I slaughtered the shit-eating twat and fed his carcass to the dogs. Guess they call you the Bloody Baron for a reason after all. What? Your nickname makes sense now. No, no, that's an entirely different story. Yeah, that helps your case. Imagine Anna wasn't exactly pleased. Ha! 
Not the understatement if I've ever heard one. She flew into a fit. Hysteria. Threw herself at me, kicking and clawing. Finally grabbed a knife. It would have been the end of me if I'd not leapt aside. It was the first time I hit her. I had to calm her. Felt I had no other means. Things changed. They would never be the same. Anna tried to take her own life and mine several times. She would prod me, goad me, taunt me in the hope I would hit her again, perhaps. She'd scream that I'd robbed her a life of love, that I'd destroyed the idea for her and so might as well kill her. How many times I apologized. How many armfuls of blooms and gifts I brought. She cared not a bit. Two years of her anger had turned to indifference. Broken at times were her bouts of hysteria and my bouts of drunkenness. Cannot fathom how we survived those years. But we did. Now as you know now, not everything was as it might have seemed. What do you think, guys? Does all this excuse him beating his wife? Has he got a good reason? This is this is a, you know, it's a more complicated story than he's just a guy who beats up women. You know, it's it's about whether you excuse that kind of behaviour in this case. So, I can blame it squarely on him, or I can say, seems you deserve each other. I'm not really going to say the third one, but um, I'm interested to know what you guys think. Now, the moral perspective in this game is very grey. Luckily we've got time to decide on this one. I can't wait to see what you think in chat. Not actually sure anyone's in chat at the minute, except Teresa. Carnival on Saturday, says Teresa. I hope that I don't take... Uh... I hope they don't take any embarrassing pictures of me again. Ah. Well, nothing but chat. Oh, I don't believe him. Says Puff. So, Puff, yeah. Well, I, you know, I think we did alright on the last choice. Based on what Puff thought. It, it, it is possible he's lying. Uh, he, Puff also says it's not excusable. Yeah. So... Got only yourself to blame, I think. Leaving her to fend for herself. How was I not to? I was a soldier. I had no choice. There's always a choice. Ah, sod it all. I see all my prattlings for naught. You won't bring Anna home, I know that. Will you betray to me how she landed in that bloody swamp? She made a pact with the crones and, well, I think she might have lost her mind. A pact? What the bloody hell? She was with child, a child she didn't want to bear. Went to the crones for help. They promised to rid her of the problem in exchange for a year of her service. And they kept their word in their own twisted way. What do you mean? Anna must have thought the child inside her would somehow disappear. Instead, the crone sapped her of strength and ultimately forced her body to miscarry. I think that's when she started to lose her mind. Then they placed magic tethers on her, tethers that cause great pain when tested. A guarantee she'll pay off her debt. A pact with witches? Bloody nightmare sounds like some jest. We must get her out. We can't leave her there. Hmm. Do what you will, but leave me out of this. You ask me, wading through the swamp to mess with the crones? Just plain stupid. What would you have me do? Sit on my ass and wait for her return? I'll send men, go with them myself, and we will pull her out. I've warned you. What you do, that's your business. Right, now time for we my end of the deal. deal. 
I've done my part. Your turn to do yours. A word once given. Now what did I last? Basilisk. It had just attacked you. Ah, right. Gargantuan. One solid brute. It's another flashback with Siri. It landed right in front of us. I thought we breathed our last. Watch out! If I don't survive this, you're to take whatever you want from the fortress. You'll survive! <sighs> Let's show this bastard what we're worth! Ow. I couldn't, that was a bit unfair, I couldn't move for a while there. Can't do a lot until it lands here. Ow. Get my ass kicked here. I need to get in behind it, really. Oh. She doesn't have any, uh... She doesn't have any special powers. Like Geralt. Any spells or anything. So it's just her dodge. And, uh, her sword. I got one hit in. I mean, I think the Baron would probably finish this guy off. Even if I didn't do anything. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'd shout as well. Right, so we gotta get to the top of the tower and get the Baron back. I can't leave him like that. So just just for those of you who haven't played this and missed that part of the story, the the Baron oh, it took Siri in. And we don't really know how she ended up where she was, but but she she got taken in, and the Baron sort of gave her what I needed to get back on her feet. And this is that story. Nice. Pretty gruesome. You would have thought the Baron could have spared a bigger suit of chainmail for her, though. Have everything? Yes, thank you. What you did for me, I, I shall never forget it. I 
It's why I must go. That choice doesn't really make sense, I guess. You helped me as well. When your man brought me here. You fed me, cared for me, had my wounds looked after. We're even now. You needn't leave. You're in good company here. We'll always have a warm corner for you. I must leave. Shift's here. How you doing, Shift? Wraiths pursue me. The wild hunt. I was foolish to use the power. They're sure to have caught my scent. The wild hunt? Pursuing you? I'll endanger all of you by remaining here. You must tell the people to bar their doors and windows. And no one is to wander the night. And you? Where do you think you're going? Now, I ride for Novigrad. And then, who knows where. Shift's asking, why is the witch a female? Good question if you just tuned in. <laughs> uh, never heard of a transgender witcher? She mounted and rode off. We grew awfully empty without her. Redanian armies blocked the Pontar crossing, yet you sent Ciri to Novigrad. She was looking for a sorceress, and all of them are in Novigrad. Besides, I didn't leave her at the Redanians' mercy. I gave her a letter of safe conduct. Who was the letter to? No one. It was like this one. Show that to those pricks at the crossing and they'll let you pass. That's oh, nice. See no reason to make things harder for you? You seek your child, this letter will help. Where do you get these letters? Haven't always led this pack of jesters. Served in the Temerian army once. Redanians guard the crossing. True. But with a bit of fame and a friend here and there, well, banners and heraldry don't mean so much. So there's a chance Ciri's still in Novigrad. Thanks for helping her. It's nothing. Now you've learned what you wanted to know, you must be in a hurry. But, if you could... Spit it out. I want to go get Anna. Free her, bring her back. I don't believe she's there willingly. Must have not heard me. Any journey into the swamp is suicide. I heard you. Which is why I could use your aid. I've no more tales of Siri to offer you. But go with me and I'll be generous with what I do have. Very generous. Yeah. Hmm. Extra coin never hurt. Yeah, exactly. Ah, true indeed. I'll round up my men and ride to Down Warren. You can join us there. Fine. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Quite normal. What was that? You tell me. Man or monster? My men call him Uma and say he's a beast. But he seems a man to me. Just hideous as idle shit. Uma? Strange name. Aye, strange. But he gave us no other. You mean he can talk? Hardly. It was like this. I asked what they called him. He sat there, not saying a thing, trying to stick a toe up his nose. So I grabbed his hand, looked him in the eyes, and asked, What's your name? Gave me this damn foolish look and stammered, Oh, Uma? And it stuck. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't look like a monster, but my medallion's trembling. Strange. Where'd you find him? Funny story, actually. I won him in a game of cards. Must have been pretty desperate to play for that. Ah, quit your carping, smart ass. <laughs> Someone wagered him and we played. If anyone was desperate, it was the bugger's former master. Funny story. How so? Went to Novigrad once, to rest, indulge in the city's pleasures. Stayed at a tavern and some folk there were playing, so I joined in. Cards were kind that day. Had one devilish hand after another. 
Rob the Horsons blind. One fellow, a merchant, took it especially hard. He'd gambled away everything he'd brought from Skellige. Wanted terribly to play another hand, so I agreed. Asked him what he had to wager, and he showed me that sideshow. Not much in it for me, but fuck it, I thought. I'll give the man a chance to win something back. Luck was not with him. And Uma wound up here at Crow's Perch. End of story. Hilarious. Real side split. <laughs> oh, I love you, girl. Oh, you Brilliant. A from a runny fart. Oh. Geralt's so sarcastic. Proper Baron now. Even got a jester. Aye. Now I feel something's not right with him. How so? Well, he seems more beast than man. But there's wisdom, cunning in the bastard's eyes. Or maybe I'm imagining it. Ever run into anything like him? No, but he doesn't look dangerous. Hmm. I guess that's that. Doesn't eat much, so as long as he's no trouble, the boys might as well have some diversion. Time I was on my way. So long. Farewell. I hope you find your daughter. Hey, wait a minute. I thought I said I was going to help him. A good father to her. Didn't I say I was going to help him? I could use the extra coin. Well, let's wrap that one up. Why am I going to Skellige? Well, oh, that, there is a quest to return to Crookback Bog. Okay, so. Story so far, then. Uh, we're still on the hunt for Ciri, who is the woman in the flashback. Uh, Geralt's... Not, not like, wow, that's beautiful. It's not Geralt's daughter, but he, he treats her as a daughter. Uh, we've got to find her. She brought us to Valen. Couldn't find her there, but the Brummy Baron, as you heard, has uh, helped her out. And then she went to Novigrad, which is why I'm confused about why we're going to Skellige next. But I think that quest is too high level, so let's have a quick look on the main quests. Uh, yeah, level 16, so we're level 10 right now, so we don't want to do that just yet. We, oh, okay, so we can go to... Oh, we got a quest to visit Triss. Triss Merigold. Um, but there's so much stuff to do as well in Valen. So I think, I think it's probably a wise idea to do more of this stuff first. There's all these treasure hunts to do. It is ridiculous how much stuff there is to do in this game. And as well as that, if we have a look at the, the map. All of these question marks basically represent places that something will happen if we go there. There's likely quests we don't even know about. I don't know if... Is that... That can't be Novigrad. They said... Um, oh, is it? Maybe it is. Let's have a look at the world map. No, Novigrad's north. The world's largest city, without a doubt the richest. So, how do we get there? Not that I'm going to go there anyway at the moment, but... Um, this is this is the... Uh, wow, well, look at all these notice boards as well. So basically all of these notice boards have... This must be Novigrad here. They all, they all have contracts on them that we can take various different missions and things. It's just crazy. It's so huge. So we would need to cross over the, uh, the Pontar. I guess that would be here. And go north. But there's, there's a hell of a lot of stuff we haven't done yet. We need to become more powerful before we continue the quest to find Ciri. 
but now you get a sense of just the epic, epic scale of this game. And this is all the base game as well, like I'm not even anywhere near the level where I can take on either of the pieces of DLC which are significant bits of content by themselves. And we're talking maybe like 15 hours of play each, maybe maybe more if you do everything in them, I, I don't even know. And this is only one area as well, like there's... We've got Novigrad up here. Can we look at Novigrad yet? Yeah. At the Royal Palace, we've been to White Orchard. There's Kaer Moran over here, I don't know. That's basically just a... There's not much there. But the... The Skelliger Isles as well are, are an entire region. Like an entire region we haven't explored yet. But, 